Oh, there she is. She's fixing the boxes to be on. Yeah, no, not at all. Welcome to vlog number 14. This is the first time I'm actually wearing a nice little scarf and jacket, so this is gonna be interesting today. Spot the microphone. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so I don't know if I talked about it before, but obviously with the cold comes the mic, which is a little bit harder to actually put up here and move around. And then we go inside, we got to take it, put it on my jacket. Uh, we're going uptown, we're actually meeting with someone that Adam already met with previously. And then we're going in to uh, just obviously do a little montage, get the strategy going for 2018. And then we're gonna go downtown after that. So this next one is gonna be the Upper East Side with the very reliable Q train. We like the postal system, whether it rains or it snows, it's cold, it's warm, doesn't matter. We're always delivering. This is the, uh, the Upper East Side staple, the stumble in. <laughs> Everyone's been there. So we're actually gonna be visiting a for sale by owner. This is my jam. I love for sale by owners, I don't know why. You just gotta bring a little bit more value than what they feel that they can bring to the marketplace. Some of them, they sell it, but I think the statistics are 89% end up listing, 5% end up taking it off the market, and then the other 5% sell. But I don't think they sell it at the exact price that they want to. It's a further walk from the subway than anticipated. Thought it was right around the block. I don't know who I heard it from, but they said, do the things that other people don't want to do so you can have what other people don't have. So right now it's freezing. And this is the first time I'm wearing gloves, even though it's just on one hand. People don't want to be out right now. People don't want to be making phone calls. Nobody wants to be visiting an apartments, talking to for sale by owners right now. After this, we're going to be doing a property tour with a loft that we're going to be showing on Saturday. These are things that people don't want to be doing, but do them. That's my motivational speech for the day. All right, let's make this light. Here it is. hands. I'm freezing right now. Gosh, I feel like we we're going to go pray or something. Yes, yeah, so I just got off the phone with the owner and essentially agents were allowed access because I said, you know, there's no point in coming all the way up here. Just allow us access. The apartment's vacant, so it's not a big deal. You know, we're not going to take anything. There's nothing to take. And we're obviously trustworthy. Apparently he did that with someone else and they went through the entire building and left flyers. Other agents did that. It's just like another example is like, what are you doing? You're allowed access and then you just completely take advantage of it. That's why there's just so many brokers that I'm just like, just doesn't make sense. So he's actually arriving and now he has to show it himself because of these two agents. But I'm excited because I think it's going to go. It's at a good price. All right, so a little recap, just talked with the owner's son. Uh, he's a great guy, really jived with him. Actually, we could potentially do some business in the future. And I posted right before that on Instagram that we were on the Upper East Side. Cool photo, actually, I gotta say. And uh, I got hit up by one of my clients who lives up here, really dear friend. And I shouldn't even call her a client, she's more of a friend. We're gonna go check it out. She bought it in completely, well, it's mid-renovation. So we're gonna go check it out, say hi. I don't have a gift, I usually do. My mom says always have one hand longer than the other. In other words, there's a gift, but we're gonna go say hi. All right, just got done with uh, one of my favorite clients, Jen. And obviously she didn't want to get filmed, of course, but she was showing me her renovations and she's super happy. She was working from home and I'm walking in obviously 26 degree weather. So it was more about seeing the renovations thus far because it needed work and she did a lot of work and she actually designed it. But we'll be back in January 
talking about what she did and do a more proper tour of the before and after. So we're gonna hop back to the office, make some calls, and then we'll conclude it th from there because we have a lot of editing. This guy behind the camera has a lot of editing to do. Guys, you want to be in it? <laughs> it's going to be a world famous vlog that we just talked with the developer, and essentially, marketplace right now is crazy. I was trying to convince her that bringing in an actual buyer is way better than actually looking at the numbers of what's sold, what's closed, and obviously what's on the marketplace. That's all like previous and current. I bring in a buyer, the buyer's going to tell me how much it's actually worth. So that was essentially that long call, and I could barely even feel my hands based on it. A little cold out there, even though I've been giving crap to JoJo that it's not that cold. <laughs> it's freezing, yeah. Thank you guys for watching vlog number 14. I can't believe we've got this far. Obviously the chilliest day. This is pretty much gonna be the attire once you see me going out and about instead of pitching and whatnot. But we're getting a lot more characters, a lot more clients that are more comfortable being on it. It is 12.38. I've done 7,500 steps and we're only halfway through the day. Vlog question of the day, from your previous experience from brokers, what is one thing that you want the industry to start doing, stop doing, and continue doing? That's the next vlog. Start stop continue doing let us know your answer in the comments below shoot me any of your feedback questions referrals whatever you want maybe even holiday spirit charles at botanston.com have an awesome day talk to you guys soon